hello friends welcome to my today's lecture and in this lecture i am going to talk about and function i'll also talk about if and formula or function and if or formula so let us uh, open our excel workbook and the name of the workbook is if and if or and in this workbook i have four worksheets here and function sheet if and formula sheet or and or function sheet and if or formula sheet so first of all i am going to talk about and function <clears throat> so what is the syntax of and function and function is uh, like this the syntax this is the function and in the arguments you can test different conditions logic 1 to 255 so you can test up to 255 uh, conditions and if all these conditions within the parenthesis from 1 to 255 or 1 to 10 whatever you put or whatever you need if all these conditions uh, are met then the function will return true if the arguments or the conditions are if all the arguments are not met if anyone uh, fails to satisfy then it will return false okay so <clears throat> we have uh, a data set of a class of 11 students and these are the scores of the students in english history and maths and this is the total marks and you know how to obtain the total marks by using some functions we talked about it earlier so there are some true false criteria so the student will uh, the AND function will return a value of true if the marks obtained by an by a student in English is at least 50 and in history at least 45 in math at least 40 and also in total the marks obtained by the student is at least 120. So if all these conditions are met, so these are AND conditions, okay. So if all these conditions are met, the function will return true. Otherwise, it, it will return false. So, <clears throat> you must have noticed that uh, there are columns from A, B, C, D, A to E, but between E and G, one column is missing. Actually, I have hidden it. So, let me unhide it. Right? Okay. And here, I have already written the formula using this AND function. So this is the formula and these are the on the basis of these criteria. So B2 marks in English has to be at least 50, uh, C2 marks in history at least 45, marks in maths at least 40 and the total marks shall have to be at least 120. So if all these conditions are met it will return true otherwise false. So in the first case it has returned false because this is okay this is okay this is also okay but this is not okay so all the conditions are not met so it has returned false now we are going to double click and copy this formula to all the other cells so here you can see only this student this student let us highlight it uh, this student uh, has satisfied all these conditions this one also has satisfied all the conditions and this student also has satisfied <coughs> all the conditions okay and the other students uh, could not satisfy could not meet all the conditions so this is the use of and function okay now you can combine uh, and function and if function we talked about if function in my previous lectures. So we are now going to combine these two if and and, and that is why we are calling it a formula. Okay. So if and formula, the syntax will be like this. So this is your and function, and this is your if function. So if all these criteria are satisfied, this is an example. We'll do it for our case. Then, if this is true. If this is true, then we will say something and if this is false, we will say something else. Okay. So, let us do it. Again, I have hidden the column. 
I'll unhide it. So it's now going to <coughs> get pass or fail instead of true or false. We now want to get pass or fail. Okay. So what I have done is I have combined if function and and function. So all these criteria, the previous criteria for this criteria, all are in the and function in the in the arguments. And if all these uh, criteria are met or these conditions are met, we'll write pass. If not, we'll write fail. You, if you want to, uh, if you want anything to appear as entered, that has to be put within the close commas or inverted commas. So when you put uh, pass within the inverted commas, it will appear as it is when these conditions are met. And again, uh, if these conditions are not met, met, it will appear as fail. So if you not, if you now copy the formula down to the last record, you see this is your result. Okay. So these students, <coughs> this student has passed. Uh, this student has passed. Control Shift right arrow. I'm clicking the control shift right arrow right okay so three students have passed these students have uh, have been able to meet all these conditions okay and that is your pass criteria so these three students have passed and all the other students have failed okay now we are going to talk about or function <coughs> so this is the syntax of or function so you can this is your function or and these are the arguments and you can put uh, up to 255 arguments these are the logical tests you can put within the parenthesis so if any of now the difference is in and function it was like if all the functions are true and now here it is like if any of the arguments if any of the arguments is true this function will return true if all of the arguments are false it will return false okay so you go back to the and function and see what is the difference in and function it will be it will return true if all the arguments are true and it will return false if any of the arguments is false but here it will return false if any of the arguments is true and it will return false if all the arguments are false so it is actually the other way around right okay so these are the true false criteria and these are the all conditions so let me unhide this column. I've done it to save time. You understand, I believe. So this is your OR function. So if this is greater than this, okay, if, if the marks obtained in English by a student is at least 50 or marks obtained by a student in history is at least 45 or marks obtained in maths is at least 40 or marks obtained or the total marks obtained uh by a student is at least 120 then it will say it will return true otherwise it will return false okay so in this case it has returned true because uh this one is falling short of the criteria but all the other criteria are above the uh sorry, all the other marks are above the criteria so this is returning true and now if you double click and copy it down to the last one <coughs> now you see only this one is false okay and all the other students are showing true because uh, all the other students have uh, met uh, one or two of these you know criteria that is why it is like this i hope you understand okay now let us combine if and or functions so we'll call it formula so if or formula and the syntax will be like this if and if these conditions are met okay any of these conditions are met then it will be considered pass or it will be considered fail okay so we can write like this uh, unhide it what is it and no we are not going to write and we'll write if we are going to write if uh, or or what if this is uh, greater 
or equal to 50 comma this is greater or equal to how much 45 in math greater or equal to 40 or in total that is e2 is great is greater or equal to 120 okay then we'll say the candidate has passed otherwise the candidate will be considered to have failed okay <clears throat> That is okay and pop it down to the last record so now here you can easily identify uh, which of the student students have failed to uh, fail to meet any of these criteria okay so this student you see here this student has failed to meet any of the past criteria that is in english it got less than 50 in history it got less than uh, 45 in mass he or she got less than 40 and also in total the candidate or the student failed to obtain 120 so very poor performance by the student of course and he will need more attention to improve okay so these are the uh, examples uh, of and function or function if and formula and if or formula and this is how you can uh, do uh, many tasks many projects of your daily work if you are working in an office or in any other management position you should be able to use all these functions and formula and these are very useful these are the strength these are special strength of ms excel uh, which will help you in different ways I hope you found it useful. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching this.